All right, so in the past, I've done a couple of videos on the dove field um, and some other things too. But anyway, I wanted to show real quick this sprayer setup that I've got and how easy it is to get this set up where you can spray some bulk. Um, I can spray up to about five acres, give or take with this setup, and it works real well. And I'll show you how easy this setup is. So first thing I start with here is I have a, a drum. Now that's just an empty drum that I got for free. The guy got it for me and gave it to me. Um, got a simple little bunghole that you can open, fill it with water. I like this barrel because it had the graduations on it. Um, you don't have to have that. You can measure it out. But I wrote it on there as well. You can see those nice straight lines. But anyway, I like this because I can keep track of how much water and chemicals I'm using. So anyway, you can see I kind of got this strapped in the back of the old mule here. But if you have an oblong tank or you have a flat tank or whatever and you want to use this on an ATV, this same setup will work for this. So, what I ran was some of this pipe here, and you can see this is a, oh, let me see if this will focus, type B. Uh, basically, it's an air brake line. Um, and I ran it down into the tank, put me a little grommet on there, and ran it all the way down to the bottom of the tank. Ran it to a pipe clamp fitting to a hose, just a piece of a garden hose. Ran that over to another fitting the reason why that second fitting is there is so that i can take this apart so when i unload this out of the back of here i can take it apart right there and then all i have is the pump which you can see here you can kind of focus in on that that's running to the pump which is an everflow ef 3000 that's three gallons per minute on that pump so I ran my little short section, that way I don't have to prime it constantly, into the pump. And then I ran the small section out with another hose clamp. Uh, these are just simple things. You can pick these up at Lowe's or Home Depot. These are just fittings for a garden hose. And that's exactly what I've used here, a 5 8 garden hose. It comes around, comes over to the rubber hose that you can see here with the pipe clamps. This rubber hose came with the boom sprayer. And I'm going to show you this up a little bit closer. This boom sprayer came from Amazon. And this thing is really nice. I can spray about 12 foot wide with this. It's got six, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sprays. Like I said, I can spray about 12 foot wide and it folds. So there you can see one side folded in and the other side out. If I'm running through some tall stuff, I was just now spraying some grass out herbicide in the dove field and the sunflowers. There's a little hole. I just ran a piece of wire down through it to keep these extended so the taller weeds didn't fold them back in on me. You can run it with one side out and the other side in. Um, you can run it with both of them folded in. You're going to get kind of three times the spray, but um, anyway, that way it's only as wide as whatever you're spraying from the four wheeler or the, the back of, like I said, in this case, the old mule. Um, the nice thing is it's super compact and it fits on with these little brackets that just slide right over. So I've got one here on the tailgate and one here. You could also mount this to an ATV doing the same thing. I had a bar on the last ATV that I had that's, that fit on the back, uh, rack stood up i slid these over and then i just run a bungee cord to hold it into place around to the side so i undo the fitting right as it comes out of the barrel to here then when i pick this up i have this board i went ahead and attached my pump to this piece of plywood that's about 18 inches by 10 inches that way i've got something that holds that so it's not rattling around and then I can pick just the boom sprayer and the pump up. And then I can pick up the barrel that just has the piece of hose on it. When I'm done with it, I stack it all in the building. If you have an area that's large enough that you could, that you could store it with these booms out, I probably would go ahead and run a bolt down through that. Um, 
I don't have that ability, so I just keep a piece of wire in here for each side, run a piece of wire through them. Then all I did was I ran this quick connect here for the electric coming out of the pump. That way, if I want to switch this over to a cigarette adapter, I can. I just take the two prongs, plug them into the cigarette adapter and plug it. This runs to a switch, simple on off switch that I rigged up. Then it runs straight down and it has gator clips to the battery. Again, if you want, you could run it to a switch and then run it straight over to an outlet or a cigarette outlet and just plug it in like that. But this works real nice because I can sit in there as I'm driving and flick this on and off and hear that running. Um, so I can just turn that on and off when I'm done. I unclip the batteries. I unscrew this hose connection, take off the pump and the boom super easy to maneuver one person just set it off and set it in the garage and then take the barrel out and again you can use any barrel but all told in this whole setup i had about 69 dollars i think in that pump and i had about 100 in this boom sprayer and again i've sprayed up to five acres um today i sprayed about an eh, acre and a half maybe i used about 20 gallons of grass out herbicide so anyway that's the quickest and easiest boom spray. I've tried a bunch of them, and even the ones that set on the rack and have the boom built in. I much prefer this one because it gives me the ability to spray at least 12 foot wide. And if the, if the ground's pretty flat and I'm not bouncing around and stuff, I can get a hair more than that. I can then fold that down and get about four to five foot, if that's all I want as well. I can go five, 10, 15 gallons in my tank all the way up to 55 gallons. And then I just simply use a ratchet strap to kind of hold that in place. Um, the pump is super simple. I had one of my old pumps went bad. I got a new one. I took that hose clamp off, that hose clamp off, put the new pump down, new hose clamps, and I was back in business. So very easy setup that won't cost you a fortune. And if you want to do some spraying, food plots, dove plots, any of that, it's a nice little setup.